ChatGPT search just came out and this might replace Google. Up until now, we did not have the ability for ChatGPT to search the internet in real time, but that changes as of now. ChatGPT search acts as a web browser. It kind of looks like Google and functions in a similar way, letting us interact with AI in the internet in a different way. In this video, I'm gonna show you real quickly what's new and how to use it. All right, so we want to come to ChatGPT and the first thing we want to click on is this little internet icon here and it automatically pulls up search. You could see that there are these different prompts that it's giving us in order to search the internet, just like if we're searching Google. Guys, this is gonna blow your mind. Let me just look up what is the best seat in Dodger Stadium. And instead of just giving us a basic kind of text answer here, it pulls up different images from the internet that it determined as the best seat in Dodger Stadium. That is really, really cool. And you can see the different sources that it pulls from. It shows the citations of all the different sites that it scrapes live in time, pulling this information in seconds. Instead chat, like instead of the old ChatGPT, it was trained up to a certain date. It no longer has that. You could access the internet in live time, which is absolutely amazing. So this is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and say, I want some Patio furniture, help me find some good ones. As you can see, it is now searching the web, pulls up pictures of these different patio furnitures, and then obviously it's gonna show the citations of these here, shows the sources. Let me go ahead and just click on this one because this one looks really cool. That's great, and now this will take us directly to being able to purchase this. This is an amazing new way that we're gonna be interacting with the internet. Instead of coming to Google and searching something like, find me the best patio furniture. So this is cool, but there's no AI features. Like I want something that will suggest AI, I want something that will suggest the right patio furniture for me with AI based on that kind of information that I give it. So. Let's now say something like, I want something under five, $500 and I want an umbrella. As you can see, there's a typo obviously, but disregard that. It's now searching the web. Boom, here we go. It's pulling up these. These look really cool. Pulls us straight to Target. Let's look at this, $100 for patio furniture. And there we go. That. I mean, said it was $100, it's $165, but still under my $500 price point. That's cool. Let's go to Amazon. Guys, this is a, this is gonna completely change the way that I personally use ChatGPT. Like, let's, all right, now let's ask it something like, find me the best date spot in Bend, Oregon. Searching the web. And here we go, it pulls up this map, that is awesome. We could see a list here of all the places or we could see the map. Like let's click on this right here, McMinniman's Old St. Francis, that is a good date spot, that's pretty cool. Um, we could then get directions to it, it'll then pull up Google directions there. They go directly to the website. We could even call them directly from our web browser inside of ChatGPT. That is so, so cool. The fact that we could just look this up in ChatGPT. And then let's say, I want something that is fancy and nice. Give me expensive places. Here we go. So for a more upscale and memorable date night in Bend, Oregon, consider the following dining establishments. There's Ariana, there's Boss Torres, the blacksmith. Okay, so where's the blacksmith on the map? Let's, it's right here. You could obviously see on the map or we could go to the list and scroll through these. These are really cool. I absolutely love this. And the fact that it takes us directly to the website, that is an awesome way to interact with ChatGPT. This is, I mean, this is awesome. All right, so another use case that is absolutely going to change everything for me, I travel a lot and finding flights 
that are good for me is a really difficult thing to do. And I've been actually trying to book a f trip to Thailand. So I'm gonna ask this to find me cheap flights or the best flight path in order to get to Thailand. So. All right, so I'm flying to Copenhagen for a trip, the 6th through 12th. Help me plan my trip and find flights I should take. I want to save money and I might want to stop in Tokyo for a few days before the 6th in order to break up my travel. As you can see, it's giving us suggestions of what we could do, but let's actually say, show me the flights. Okay, so you can see it's even pulling the price of the flights for a round trip. So let's go straight to this. We can see it's taking us to Google, Google Flights. That is really cool. The fact that it's able to search the web and actually find these different flights that are um, within our price range is absolutely crazy. And this is gonna completely change the way that I personally book my trips because I find it really overwhelming going on Expedia or going on Google and searching all this myself. So typing this into ChatGPT telling them when I wanna go and how much money I wanna spend or something, automatically plans it for us. All right guys, there we have it. We have ChatGPT's new search functionality. What do you guys think of this? I think this is going to completely change the way that we interact with the internet. I think this is way better than having to interact with Google. I wanna know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys want more content like this where I teach you AI for non-technical people, I'm not a technical person, but I'm learning AI and how to make money with it. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content like that. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.